Good afternoon, my family and brothers and sisters in Christ. Boy, it's hot out here. Hold on, y'all. It's like 110 out here right now. 111. Nah, but anyways, uh, while I was working, you know, the Lord, he's been putting this on my heart. You know, he wants me to tell the real truth about, you know, what that rain the, the rainbow symbols, you know, because, you know, this LGBTQ is getting way out of hand. And, you know, they, they, they even said it like themselves. They are after our ch children, you know. And this is why we as Christians, like, got to fight back. Because, you know, the devil, you know, he's he's really out here trying to make everybody gay, bro. No, or should I say he's trying to make everybody go the other way. I shouldn't, you know. But listen, that rainbow color, let me tell you something. The devil, as he, as you guys already know, he likes to mock God. He, he he wants to be like God. You know what I mean? And every time, and whenever God do something, you know, for for his people, he, the devil always tries to come in and twist it up, you know, and turn it into a, a, a wicked, a, a wicked, sinful thing. So, like I was saying, that that rainbow color, what it actually means, it's a covenant from God. It's it's a promise from him saying that he will never, ever destroy the earth with water again. He will never flood the earth with water again, like what did in the, in, the, in the days of Noah. It's there's a scripture in the Bible. It, God said, uh, I, I, I forgot what, like what like what book it was, but it's it's in there. If you look it up, it'll tell you. But then again, yeah, it's. A promise from the Lord saying that he will never ever flood the earth like ever again. So do not be deceived. Okay? Because that's all the devil is trying to do. He's trying to like all basically basically like his goal is since because he because he knows that he has only a, a short a short amount of time left like on his earth. So he's trying to like deceive deceive as, as many people and bring them down bring and bring them down to hell with him. This is why I've been telling them, don't be deceiving in these last days. Don't be deceiving in these last days. Because God like, does not like that. Okay? So, like, so I'm, I'm telling you now. That rainbow sun, the color, it's it's not pride. It's not it, it's not that it's, it doesn't mean LGBTQ. That, that ain't nothing but a lie from, from the pit of hell. It's the covenant from the Lord. Promise that he will never flood the earth ever again. Ever again. But what I truly believe, what the Lord is gonna do, the first time he destroyed the earth, he destroyed the earth like with water, but this time the, the Lord, he's gonna destroy the earth with, with fire. Judgment, basically. That's what I believe personally. You know? But yeah. By the way, uh, this this is not gonna be a, a long video or anything. I just, I, I just want to put that out there because the Lord He put that like on my heart. He's been wanting me to put that out there because a lot of people think that you know that's what the rainbow colors like like means, which is, it really doesn't mean you know LGBTQ and all that other crap. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, I want to give I want to give a shout out to uh, Reborn Kings. A clothing brand company. You see this? I got one of the shirts that says, Lord, protect me while I'm in these streets. So, Reborn Kings, if, if y'all see this, shout out to y'all. I love this shirt. A whole hundred percent. I love this shirt. Protect me while I'm, while I'm in these streets. Yeah. So, yeah. So, look, listen. While we still have time on this earth right now, Choose a side right now because let me tell you something. You can't be on both sides, okay? And I say this every single time, bro. And I will never stop. And I will never stop. Today's the day of your salvation. Whose side are you are you gonna be on? Remember, the Lord gives He gives it. He gives us free will. Either we choose Satan or we choose Jesus Christ. We choose death. Or we choose life. It's it's simple, bro. 
If you deceive, then you chosen death. If, if you got a spirit of sound mind and wisdom, you choose Jesus. You chose Jesus. And that's the best decision that you can ever make. Man, it's hot out here. Ooh. But yeah, but and also and also keep this in mind. Jesus Christ, the line of Judah. He loves you so much that he wants you to come home with him right now. Well, when your time is up, he wants you to come home with him. He does not want you to go down there. That place was only for Satan and his demons. That is it. But people choose to go down there. Their unbelief sends you down there. Remember, God does not send you. He does not send you down there. It's your unbelief. If you're deceived and you don't believe in, Je in, in Jesus Christ, you don't believe in heaven, you will be thrown down there. You will be burned and you will be damned and you will be, and you will be tormented for, for the rest of your life by, like down there. And please do not go down there. Do not make that choice. Let me tell you something. Time is like, it's, it's, it's like, like this. The rapture of, of the church is about to occur. Look up because your redemption draws nigh. Okay? Fast, read your Bibles every day, repent every day. And the reason I'm saying and the reason I'm saying is because we are not perfect. You know, we're like we're gonna make mistakes in this life. We're, we are we are gonna sin. And this is why I'm saying repent every day. And believe that Jesus Christ died for you on that cross. Believe in that in your heart. Because remember, God sees the heart, not the, like, like 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 the outside, not works. He sees he, he sees your heart. But yeah, I love y'all. Please choose Jesus Christ. Because remember, John fourteen six. He said, "I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me." What that mean? What he's saying is that no other, you cannot go to heaven, you cannot go back to the Father no other way. Only through Jesus Christ like himself. Meaning that you put your faith and trust in, like in the Lord. Meaning that you believe that Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. Seriously, bro. And, and I need y'all like to take this seriously, bro. Because, let me tell you something. Right after the, the, like the rapture, like, like, like the rapture, the great tribulation follows along with that. And that is a terrible time to, to be on this earth, bro. For seven years of God's judgment. For seven years, bro, of the Antichrist ruling, uh, ruling like this earth. Please take this seriously, bro. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Give your surrender, surrender like your whole life like to the Lord. Ask him to change you. Ask him to use you in a mighty way. Because he loves you. And he wants to save and sanctify your soul into the day of redemption. For real, man. So choose. This world or Jesus. So Jesus says, you can be in this world, but don't be like the world. Don't like, don't like these like, material things of the world. Because this life here is temporary. Everything here on this earth is temporary. You come and go. Even your life here on this earth. It's like a vapor. We're just passing by. So please take heed. Take this seriously. I love y'all. And y'all have a blessed day. Wherever you guys are. Have a blessed night. A blessed day. Wherever you guys are at. In Jesus' name I pray, y'all. Amen. See you on the next one.